As you pack your children up for summer camp, do you ever wonder why they should have all the fun? Well, more and more adults are heading off to camp too. They just look a little different than the ones Junior is attending. And here with the story is the balance columnist, Katie Hill. Hi, Katie. Hi. Great to see you. So how many camps out there these days are offering something for adults? You wouldn't believe this, but there are 800 of them. Wow. Most of them are like adventure sports camps for adults, but there's some odd ones. Very interesting. So let's go over some yes. of these more interesting ones. I love the Canna Camp, which of course would be in Colorado. Yep, it's a weed smoking camp. <laughs> Snoop Dogg would definitely <laughs> approve. But they have hilarious things, like they have cooking with cannabis. They have all these activities that you can do while you smoke weed. I'm not even kidding. You know a lot of people are going to go to this camp. I <laughs> love it. I love it. Now, also you've got Camp Throwback, which is supposed to be just like camp when you were a kid, except for one crucial difference. Well, booze mixed in. <laughs> she plies you with booze, but you have, there's like water balloon throwing, there's 80s parties, and then everybody's just drinking. So probably even more fun than camp when you were 14. Bracelet, you little... bracelet making with your friends. <laughs> Friendship bracelet making, which might look a little strange <laughs> after a few cocktails. I love but... it. That one actually sounds really yeah. fun to me, I gotta <laughs> tell you. Then zombie survival camp, is that for real? This is actually popular too. This may, you know there's a lot of people that think, oh my God, a disaster is coming. This is basically disaster preparedness camp. So oh, they teach no. you how to like, you know, build a tent when there's no resources. So wait, this shoot. is not ironic? No, they're people really, oh. they, they, these, these are real skills that they learn. Wow, okay. Yes. Well, you know what, maybe, I, maybe I'll be the, uh, <laughs> the last one, you know, without those skills. So, crazy. <laughs> my bad, so but crazy. wow. All right, so then, of course, who didn't want to be a rock and roll star at some point in your life? Why not revisit that now? Just, you know, there's like a million accountants and frustrated lawyers, my husband being one of them who wants to go to rock and roll fantasy camp. But by the way, they have real <laughs> rock stars teach it. David Crosby is teaching an upcoming one. They're cool. I love it, I love it. And then there's also, there are sort of specific camps depending on your you know sexual orientation correct yeah so there's a really fun one called the woods um it's for gay and lesbians and it's amazing that's clothing optional and they have these crazy activities like they have redneck weekend with tidy whitey parties they just sound super fun it's and amazing. wild and yeah. of course if you ever wanted to learn to ride a bull seriously there's a five-day intensive camp for people who want to ride a bull you start watching videos then you learn on a horse and then they put you on a bull hopefully you're not boozing like no a i've got to say that sounds really cool but it's not on my bucket list I can live, <laughs> Me I can too. Live I will that. never ride a ball as long as I live. I think live. I can live without that one. But going on an archaeological dig. It does sound very cool. This yes. is Arizona State Museum offers this. They have um, all these classes on, you know, there's a whole one on baskets. Like you can learn all about the baskets and how they're made. And it's just really cool for somebody who's really into that. Very niche, but very cool. Very fun. Katie, yeah. sign me up for Camp Throwback. I me think too. That's we'll, we'll be go drinking. Together. We'll have some cocktails. We'll go together, Katie. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much you. for that.